It's me, Bree Reads! Hi, friends! It's me, Bree. Today, let's read a story together and let's experiment and try to make our very own unbreakable crayons! <laughs> Abby invents unbreakable crayons. Written by Dr. Arlene Simon. Class, meet inventor Maya Smart, said Miss Pilar. Abby gasped. She looks like me. I built a robot that helps kids with their homework. I named it Tutor Me Bot, said inventor Maya. Did your robot work the first time? asked Abby. No, laughed inventor Maya. It failed many times, but I never gave up. Class, please grab some crayons and color your tutor me bots. Snap! Abby's crayon broke in two. One by one, all the other students' crayons broke too. Not again, she groaned. Miss Pilar, all the crayons broke again. Why do they always break? Asked Abby. Maybe crayons are too soft or kids color too hard, said Miss Pilar. Can you please buy crayons that do not break? Asked Abby. All crayons break, said Miss Pilar. What? All crayons break? There isn't one crayon in the whole wide world that doesn't break? Asked Abby. No, all crayons break, said Miss Pilar. Abby grumbled. Then she had a brilliant idea. I will make the first unbreakable crayons. Miss Pilar smiled. You are a problem solver. You are an inventor. You solve problems big and small because you have great ideas. Abby was bursting with questions. What are crayons made of? How are crayons made? Why do crayons break? After school, she marched to the library. She learned that crayons are made of wax and dye. Wax makes crayons hard. Dye gives crayons their color. Next, she learned how crayons are made. 1. Heat the wax until it melts. 2. Blend the wax with a dye. 3. Pour the mixture into a machine that has holes shaped like crayons. 4. Cool the mixture until it turns solid. 5. The machine will pop out wax crayons. Finally, she learned why crayons break. Crayons break because they're not strong enough. They are thin and long, so if pressed too hard, they will break. Miss Pilar was right. Abby sketched her unbreakable crayons. They must be not too thin, not too thick. Not too short, not too tall. Not too soft, not too hard. And they must never, ever, ever break. Miss Pilar helped Abby carry out tests in the school's lab. Safety first, warned Miss Pilar. Wear a lab coat and safety glasses, please. On the first try, all the crayons broke. Abby tried again. She added plenty dye sometimes. She added a tiny drop of dye other times. She baked longer sometimes. She cooled faster other times. Still, 
the crayons kept breaking. Grrr, ah, yelled Abby. I give up. This is too hard. Oh, Abby, remember what inventor Maya told you, said Miss Pilar. Your tests will fail many times, but you cannot quit. Can you think of everyday items that do not break? Abby went to the playground. She watched kids play on the swings and monkey bars. She took out her notepad and wrote, Things that do not break at the playground. 1. Swing seats 2. Monkey bars 3. Slides She ran to see Miss Pilar at the lab. What are swings made of? Hard plastic. What are monkey bars made of? Hard plastic. What are slides made of? Ah, hard plastic. Perhaps the secret to unbreakable crayons was hard plastic, not wax. Abby and Miss Pilar grinned. I am a problem solver. I am an inventor. I solve problems big and small because I have great ideas, sang Abby. Abby tried again. She added plenty dye sometimes. She added a tiny drop of dye other times. She baked longer sometimes. She cooled faster other times. After two long weeks, Abby created the perfect recipe. One, heat hard plastic until it melts. Two, add colored dye and stir. Three, pour mixture into a crayon mold with round holes. Four, bake in oven for one hour. Five, cool until mixture turns solid. Six, out pops unbreakable crayons. To test how hard her unbreakable crayons were, Abby jumped on them. They didn't break. She bent them. They didn't break. Miss Pilar even drove the school bus over them. Still, they didn't break. Abby shared the unbreakable crayons with her classmates. Whoa, these are strong crayons, said one of the students. Thanks to Abby's invention, no one had to worry about broken crayons anymore. Abby wrote a letter to inventor Maya. Dear inventor Maya, thank you for speaking at Miss Pilar's class. I am now an inventor just like you. I invented unbreakable crayons. I am sending you a few to try. Happy coloring! Inventor Abby The next year, Abby got a patent from the government. It is a certificate that says she was the first person in the entire country to create unbreakable crayons. I cannot wait to invent again, smiled Abby. Inventing is so much fun. The end. Thank you for reading with me today, friends. Now, I'm inspired to experiment with crayons. We don't have any plastic to use, but maybe we can find a way to make crayons unbreakable. Come on, let's try. For this experiment, I laid down a plastic mat. Instead of plastic, I'll recycle old crayons and place them into molds. 
I don't have any crayon shaped molds, but I found these ones that I think are used for candy. Or baking, a cupcake tin would work for this too. Now I'm unwrapping all of the broken crayons I have because we don't want to bake that paper. I'm sorting them into color categories. All the reds together, the different shades of greens and blues. You get the picture. I put them in rainbow order. Then, to make it easier for melting, I took some time to chop the wax into itty bitty little pieces. You'll definitely need help from a grown up for this. And I placed them inside of the molds. Gummy bears first. Sometimes I kept the like colors together, and at the end, I tried a rainbow combination. Now it was time to bake. With all three of my shape experiments, I baked them all together. Same amount of time, same temperature. The gummy bears I'll just show you first. When I tried to take them out of the mold, the red one broke right away. I tried a different method, pushing out instead, but the orange one broke too. Let's try yellow. I got it out. Oh, but the ear is missing on this one. The green one came out all in one piece. You can see the light and dark greens mixed. The blue one broke. Purple too. And the pink was already cracked in the mold. The rainbow came out okay, just missing an ear. So I set aside the three that came out in one piece and I tried to color with them. As soon as I started coloring with the yellow, snap, it broke. The body still worked okay. Now with the green, I decided to start coloring at the body where the legs are and I didn't push so hard. It worked. I turned it over and tried it on its side. You can see how the dark color green is coming out too. This one worked okay. Now for the rainbow. I started to color and I could see the different colors coming out. I like that, but oh no. Hmm, the gummy bear crayons are really cute, but they're a bit too small. And they break pretty easily. Let's try something a little bigger. These worms are more of a crayon shape, so I'll try those. I'm starting with this crayon and designing a kind of very hungry caterpillar design with a red head and light and darker green body. Then I just had fun with colors. I did a rainbow one, some cool colors, some warm colors, and a totally blue one. Then I did the same baking time. Remember, I baked these all together with the gummy bears. And when they came out, I tried my hardest to pop them out without them breaking. But the blue broke right there in the mold. So did this one. And this one. And this one. So I think I got the idea I should try a different method. I pulled out to separate it turned it over. Ah, and that seemed to work much better. It came out all in one piece. Phew, my very hungry caterpillar survived. Now it was time to try coloring with it. It's about the length of a crayon. It is thinner though. When I used the head, it was kind of transparent at first. I was being careful and not pushing too hard, but you can still see the color. Now I'll try the body. First with the tail end. And yeah, you can see the darker and lighter greens. Then I picked up the broken pieces and pushed a little bit harder. And you can see it all just fell apart. They just kept breaking. Well, the worms are about the same size as a regular crayon, but a little too thin and, and they break easily too. They're not very strong. Hmm, we need something bigger, maybe wider. I'm using all my little bits of wax left over on these heart shapes. I think I have enough for two hearts. For this one, I'm using pinks, reds, purples, and blue. And for this one, all my yellows, oranges, and green. 
Then I bake, again in the same batch as the others. When they're ready and cooled, I pop them out. These ones are a lot easier. Once I get them loose and turn them over, they come out all in one piece, no problem. They fit nicely in my hand too. No cracking or breaking. Now let's see if they color. There seemed to be a kind of transparent film on this one, so I had to push a little harder to get the color to come through. But once I did, it was working really well. I could see the blues and purples and just a hint of those pinks and reds that are kind of more on top. It works. How about this one? Oh yeah, right away, all those bright colors came through. Hey, that really worked. I like these crayons and they don't break. <laughs> we did it. We made a crayon that's practically unbreakable. It fits nicely in my hand and it makes all kinds of colors. This is a great way to recycle old crayons and make something new. Great job, inventors! Oh, I love how this story inspired us to do our very own science experiment. And now, let's meet the author of this story, Dr. Arlene Simon. Hi! Hello, future inventors. I am Dr. Arlene Simon, and I am the author of Abby Invents Unbreakable Crayons. Have you ever met an inventor before? Hmm, did I hear you say no? Well, you're in luck because today you get to meet two inventors. You just heard how Abby invents the world's first unbreakable crayons and earns her first patent. Well, and today you get to meet me. I am a biomedical engineer. I help design new medical devices like ultrasounds and syringes. And I am an inventor because I invented a blood test that can potentially help doctors figure out when cancer patients are getting sicker. You can be an inventor too. Yes, you. The next time you're sitting frustrated at home, at school, on the playground, in the library, anywhere, I want you to get out a pen and paper or a crayon and paper and write out the problem that you want to solve. Next, I want you to start drawing out how you would solve that problem. What is your solution? That's the first step to becoming an inventor. You heard of how Abby invents unbreakable crayons? Well, you can also read my second story, Abby invents the Foldy Bot. How Abby invents the world's first laundry folding machine to help her mom fold laundry at home. And Abby earns her second patent. Now, I want you to sit up tall and repeat after me. I am a problem solver. I am an inventor. I solve problems big and small because I have great ideas. Future inventor. I can't wait to see your inventions out in the world. Bye for now. Thank you and nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Friends, you can find this book at the link below and you can find me on Instagram. Please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye bye.